Good morning, everyone. Thanks for coming out again this year uh, to the second annual Dr. Martin Luther King Holiday Prayer Breakfast. My name is Cameron Nicholson. I am the director of the John R. Grubb YMCA, and I am just proud to be here today and to be able to work with uh, so many distinguished people and committed people in the greater Des Moines area. Uh, my job is almost done. I get to welcome you and thank you for coming. The second part of my job is to introduce my board member and our master of ceremonies, Adam Wright. Adam last year was our keynote speaker. Adam works as the VP of Wind Energy at Mid-American, and he has been a tremendous help at the John R. Grubb Y and a true uh, supporter of this event and what it means in our community. So with that said, I'll say good morning and goodbye and welcome to Adam. I think Master of Ceremonies is an overstatement. Um, on behalf of the John R. Grubb YMCA Advisory Board, I too want to welcome you to the second annual prayer breakfast honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Our hope today is that through song and prayer and the words spoken, that you'll be inspired to make a difference in your sphere of influence through love and service. The Bible says in Galatians 5.13, for you brethren have been called to liberty, only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love, serve one another. True liberty is living as we should, not as we please. And that is uh, the hope today. That is the goal of today. The goal of today is to use the liberty that has been paid for, both in the secular sense and in the spiritual sense, to live as we should in service to others. Before we get started, I do want to recognize um, Lieutenant Governor Kim Reynolds for being here with us this morning. I appreciate all you're doing for the state of Iowa, economic <laughs> development. Nice job. <laughs> 